Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director. And here we are in CyberLink Power Director. Now, if you worked with the program at all, of course, you know that it's got a wonderful library of titles. Some of them, including some very cool animation and some particles and backgrounds. Very cool stuff. And of course, if we add one to the timeline here and double click on it, we can customize the text. And then there's some very cool animations. I've done a whole separate tutorial on these. Very cool animations for both the text and the background. But what you may not be aware of is that even after you have finished the title and it's here on your timeline, you can continue to add effects to it. In other words, it's just a video clip at this point, and you can add effects to it just as you could any video clip. So I'm going to go over here to the video effects room. Now, some of these are, of course, going to be more effective than others on this particular title. My title here is, uh, there you can see it's my epic movie. But let's try a couple effects on it and see what we get. We may be able to get some very nice effects, for instance, from the old movie effect. So I'll drag that on to the clip. You see now suddenly it's an old black and white movie with scratch, complete with scratches and some video chop in there. We'll remove that by selecting the clip, going over here to effect, and then deleting the effect. Pencil sketch could also do some interesting things. Gives the title a whole different look. Let's remove that. And one of my favorite little effects here is this water reflection effect. And when I drag that onto my title, you can see it creates a really cool animation where it looks like the text letters are reflected in the water. Very nice. We'll remove that. And we can not only add effects to our title, just as if it were a video clip, but we can animate those effects also. We can use keyframes to animate them. So if I go up here and I choose this magnifier effect and drag it onto my clip, you can see we get a little magnifying glass here in the middle of the video. And I can select that clip and go over here to the keyframe function button. And here in the keyframe animator, I can animate the location of that little magnifier. So with the clip selected and with the keyframe controller open, I can go down here to position. When I click the position button, it opens up this very intuitive tool for changing the location of that magnifier. So if I just drag on the red dot here in the very center of the magnifier, I can put it over here on the edge, click OK. You see we have a keyframe point right there on our timeline. That is the initial location of the magnifier. And I'm just going to move my playhead out about halfway through, maybe a third of the way through. We'll click on position again. And this time I'm going to move that magnifier to the very end of my text. Click OK. We get a new keyframe point representing that location. And then I'll move the playhead just a little farther here and we'll position the magnifier right in the center and hey let's do something interesting here click OK I'm going to create a keyframe point here for magnify size at the same location and then move the playhead out a little and we'll just push that magnify size all the way up so that it covers the entire frame let's see what our animation looks like move the playhead back to the beginning of the timeline and so there's our magnifier moving over our text to the center and then it widens out. So anything you can do to a video clip, any effects you can add, you can add to a title. Now, if you want to know more tips and tricks like that, or if you've got a question, please drop by our community forum at moviepix.com, M-U-V-I-P-I-X. If you want to know everything about this program, including all the hidden tools that are hidden throughout the program, I hope you'll check out the moviepix.com guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. It's available at amazon.com. I'm the author, Steve Grusetti, and I hope to see you again soon.